This is a Be Kind to Pets veterinary educational videos sponsored by Topayo Vets. Veterinary medicine and surgery come alive to vet students and pet owners. Penal prolapse in red ear slider. Today is 11th of June 2020. This is the day 13 of the inpatient treatment of this 5 year old red ear slider male. Okay, the slider came in with a complaint of the male organ being swollen and hasn't got back into the vent for the past one year and uh, we, we'll show the vent first with the pencil the vent is where the opening where the rear side passes urine and stools and also where his male organ comes up for reproduction that is the vent show the whole, 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 uh, whole area of the vent the pinkish area okay now, as you can see, today, day 13, this red ear slider no, has no more problem with the prolapse or protruding enlarged male organ because surgery has been done to amputate it. Okay, now we go to the history. The history which my staff explained 13 days ago, what happened? 13 days ago, this red ear slider came in because the penile organ came out mm -hmm. for about a year already and it cannot come inside uh, because it didn't reduce in size so it didn't uh, go in we see a proper a proper uh, image you can see it just dangles outside for one year so the owner is very concerned because the rear seller has stopped eating what's he eating uh, eating what's he eating uh? less is it yeah. okay so this is the situation 13 days ago so now what is the treatment for this? So the vet decided to do the conservative treatment. treatment and uh, the, the treatment was the first string suture. Now the first string suture treatment is to string first, string the, string the male organ. He used 5% glucose in this string. Yeah, it's string, about 30%. String about 30%. So he managed to push it in mm -hmm. into the vent. Point the vent first. The vent is here. Okay, this is the vent. He managed to push it in and then he used sutures to close up the vent here so that the, the male organ cannot come out on its own. And this is the video. How many days ago? Eight days ago, right? Eight days ago. Uh, if we see the video of the operation, it was under anesthesia or so. Now you see, okay, the first string sutures on the vent. It's not very clear, but uh, but this, this video shows that the male organ has been pushed in and the vent has been sutured with the first string suture. There it is. Okay, that's it. Okay, so unfortunately, five days after the uh, five days after the suture is in place, the vet okay. took it out the sutures and discovered that the male organ has come out again. So that means the next step is to get permission from owner to do a surgery, the surgery to amputate the dangling organ and. Uh, we will describe the surgical procedures. Take out, uh, take out this table, and uh, my assistant will describe the surgical procedures. Okay, first of all, the radius slider will be under gas anesthesia by mass to effect. Okay, so what we color is the male organ. Now there's no urethra inside the male organ for the radius slider, so there is. There is uh, no need to, to put the urinary catheter in before you amputate it, unlike in the dog and cat. That is because the urinary system is separate from the male reproductive organ. Okay, so this is the first step is to do a suture around the blood vessel. Uh, the lateral and right and left lateral blood vessels. Okay, so mm -hmm. suture to prevent any. Uh, Bleeding. Okay, that's first step. The second step. Around. Second step is 
a trans facing suture or circumferential suture. So this is the two steps under anesthesia. Then the third step will be to amputate it, to cut it off, to amputate, to amputate the stump. So once you amputate the stump, you show the stump, where's the stump, the photo, the photo, the stump, the amputation, now we show, so the stump is, is put aside, it, it has shrunk a bit, uh, and you can see that that is the penile head. Uh, and uh, that is the stump. So after amputation, the vet would have to push, in. push it in, but he has to close up the the open ends of the stump with the continuous suture, yeah, inverted sutures, uh, do it in red, red pen. So this part will be, the stump will be close suture up yeah, the ends of it so that there won't be any exposure of the internal tissues. Okay, after you push it in, then... Push Yeah. Then, uh, this is the, the results. This is now day three. Day three of the surgery. The rear cedar is alive and healthy. And eating. And you can see there is no more protrusion of the enlarged organ because it had been amputated cut off and this is how the treatment is for a red ear slider with an enlarged male organ that cannot be retained inside now if it's done early maybe not wait until one year later some cases I've done before the after putting the male organ in and putting a purse string suture for five days, the male organ had uh, reduced in size and it's inside the body. That means there was no need for amputation. But in this case, there's a need for amputation, but the slider is in good health and is responding well three days post-op. Is there any other things you want to add in? No. no. So this video is concluded with these advices. If the male organ of the red ear cider comes out for some reason then to, if it doesn't go in within one, one or two days quickly go to your vet and let him push it back in under anesthesia and do a purse string suture for five days or more and normally this will solve the problem instead of waiting one year and requiring amputation to resolve this problem. I hope you learned something on this video. For more information, please visit topayavets.com or call to our clinic number 6254-3326.